Welcome to YouTube video series video number two on how to correctly read a graduated cylinder. Now, graduated cylinders come in all different shapes and sizes, but the, the key is the graduations are always going to be equal on them, and they're a very good tool in being able to measure um, pretty specifically what we're looking for. So what I've done is I filled the graduated cylinder here with um, some pink liquid, and um, we're going to look at how to read it. Now, the key to reading, the key to reading a graduated cylinder is with what's called the meniscus, which is here. Because of cohesion, the water is going to stick a little bit to the sides and it's going to dip down. Now, we're going to read it at the very bottom of this. This is the bottom of the meniscus. So, am I drawing here on the board? I would be at 5 milliliters. Okay. So, we're going to look at our graduated cylinder. This is a large 1,000 milliliter graduated cylinder. And it still divides it up normally into milliliters for us. So, I'm going to come down here. Now, with a bigger graduated cylinder, you don't see the meniscus as much, but you can still see it somewhat. I'm going to turn it a little bit and you can see it. Okay, and as soon as it stops rattling here, we'll look at the, the size. Now, when I look down to see where it's at, each of these is 10 milliliters. So, I look and I go 410, 420. That's just under 430. It's about halfway, so we're going to say about 425. So again, we read it to the bottom of the meniscus, we look. Now we could get much more specific if we want to use pipettes and things, but for the sake of just mixing chemicals, this is a specific enough um, measurement.